Hi, welcome to the Welders Workshop. I'm Carl Hose from the Lincoln Electric Company, and we're here to talk to you today about gas selection in MIG welding. There's really a lot of different gas blends, and it can get quite complicated, but depending on your application, you could narrow it down to a few simple choices. If you're welding on carbon steel, straight CO2 is a cheap alternative. Straight CO2 gas will work fine for shielding. It's a little bit spattery, but it's a lot cheaper than some of the other blends. If you want to spend a little bit more money and reduce the spatter and maybe a little less burn through on thin materials, going to a C25 mix, which is 75% argon, 25% CO2, might be beneficial to you. If you're going to be welding thicker materials at higher current levels, you may consider switching to an argon-rich gas so that you can switch into a spray transfer mode like a manufacturing facility would use. Um, this would give you better penetration and faster welding speeds on, on these thicker materials. And remember, when we're welding on aluminum, we always want to use only inert gases like argon or argon-helium blends. For stainless steel welding, we always want to limit the CO2 content to less than 2.5%. You might want to try a 90% helium, 7.5% argon, 2.5% CO2 blend for stainless steel welding. If you're having a problem with welding with gas shielded processes, always check the label on the bottle. It's very easy to get these gases mixed up and use the wrong gas for the wrong welding process. Welding is safe when you follow the safety rules. High pressure cylinders require special handling precautions. Some precautions include prevent the welding arc from arcing on the cylinder. Put the cap on when moving cylinders. Secure the cylinders in an upright position and replace the cap when not in use. Return damaged cylinders to the supplier. Refer to the Compressed Gas Association P1 pamphlet for more safety information. Refer to safety in welding and cutting at lincolnelectric.com for more information. Remember, always read and follow warning labels.